85-year-old lady get the bivalent booster previously four times vaxxed, last vaxxed two months ago? See, I, I think one thing I, I did take some exception to when the CDC on September 1st talked about the booster, they said two months. They said at least two months. And, and, and there were people on that committee, voting members of the committee, that didn't like that. And for good reason. You really should wait, I think, at least four months, because I'm not sure what you're doing within two months. And they, they, they talked themselves into allowing that to happen because of the, because of the phrase, at least which then gave people, they felt, more laterality to recommend a broader response. But a lot of people have taken that to be two months. And I, I do think that doesn't make a lot of sense. I think you should wait for and arguably even as long as six months. Uh, someone asked, any update for the time one is infected to when symptoms show up? I'm hearing that from people I know it took two days. I'm wondering if that's the new consensus. Well, it, it is true that with uh, with these Omicron subvariants, the the incubation period has gotten somewhat shorter, and there's also a sense that the you know that the R naught that the contagiousness index has also risen, and so I, I just don't think you can get sterilizing immunity for a short incubation period. Virus Omicron, the last time I saw an Omicron was like 3.2 days. You can't get sterilizing immunity with that. And I, I guess when you hear terms like COVID zero, I just think it, it's it's holding up. Um, a, a, a sort of a notion that it's just not attainable. And, and um, I, I wish people would stop doing, I mean, you know, so here's the way I see it in part, Rich. I think, I think when, so I'm about to get on a plane next week to go to Anaheim, California for the a National American Academy of Pediatrics meeting. So I'll be in an airport and I'll be in on a plane and I'll be mixing with a lot of people. I think that, that I've had three doses of natural infection and, and um, I'm, I'm asymptomatic. I, I think the chances I'm shedding virus is about zero. I think I am not a risk to other people. I do think that I will very, could very likely come in contact with someone who is shedding virus who puts me at risk. And I think that risk is a mild infection. So, so what I do by not getting a boost and, and giving myself three to six more months of, of probably a lesser chance of getting a mild infection is that I risk that mild infection. But I think that the notion moving forward, let's assume this virus is going to be with us for years, if not decades. Let's assume that neutralizing antibodies will always fade to some extent. What's the plan? I mean, is the plan to just constantly boost and boost and boost to try and keep neutralizing antibodies up? I just don't think that's a viable public health strategy. When you get on that plane or when you when you enter the airport, will you be wearing a mask? Yeah. Thank you. It's a good question. Here's my answer to the question is going to be yes, and here's why. I'll be wearing a mask because for the next few days I have to speak at the AAP meeting, then I have to come back. There's a vaccine summit in DC, and I don't want to have a mild infection for those few days. So I'll wear a mask for those few days. Okay. And then, do you know of the four million who have gotten the bivalent uh, booster? Is that skewed toward more toward the elderly or the elderly elderly? I think it. it I think the answer to that question is yes. I, if you look at sort of, you know, who gets vaccinated, it's directly related to age. I mean, you know, those over 75, is probably 95% vaccination rates. Then as you do 10 year increments lower and lower and lower, the, the immunization rates get lower and lower and lower. But the fact that you get through the five to 11 year old is 35%. You know, the less than five year olds, I think it's the less than 10%. Uh, children recommend are, are, are currently the most un, uh, under vaccinated group, uh, th those less than 18.